Well, what's going on, YouTube? This is Pastor Matt coming to you again with another book review. And it's been a while since I've done a review, and I apologize about that. But man, do we have an amazing book today to look at. And I will admit right off the bat that this book is primarily going to be of interest to those who are preachers. And I know there are a few of those who follow this particular YouTube channel. And so preachers out there, let me just advise you, if you've not yet read this classic book, this is, in my opinion, the definitive modern text on the art and science of preaching. And this book is called, creatively enough, Preaching and Preachers by Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. If you are not familiar with the work of the doctor, this would be a great introduction to his work. He was one of the most influential evangelical and reformed preachers of yesteryear, mid-1900s. And I think if you read this book of his, you'll get a great flavor for who he is, was, and what he stood for. This is the classic text, and you can see this is the 40th anniversary edition with some brief essays by Brian Chappell, Mark Dever, John Piper, Tim Keller, and others um, interspersed in between. But regardless of what edition you get, this is going to be the text that is going to challenge you preachers. If you've devoted your life to the exaltation and exposition of the Word of God, I cannot think of a greater elixir for your soul than to drink down this book perhaps this summer on our faithful calling of preaching the Word of God. Now, I will let you know ahead of time that this book will definitely offend you. All right, if you have uh, soft toes and you have no pair of steel-toed boots, you might want to be cautious because Lloyd-Jones is going to probably offend everybody's modern sensibilities when it comes to the importance of preaching. For instance, uh, he was not much for what we would call praise and worship music today. His services minimized music, and in fact, he often thought that that could even be distracting to the Spirit of God. Uh, clearly, Lloyd-Jones had a very high view of uh, revivalism, a very high view of preaching as uh, the primary means in which God relates to his people through his word. And so you will no doubt find yourself uh, probably offended at a number of points, but, but persevere anyways. Um, Lloyd-Jones's high view of preaching, I think, will will most certainly encourage you, especially those of you who are doing quite a bit of, of preaching yourself. And from time to time, he will both shock your soul and also probably console you to some bit that your labor as a preacher is not in vain. And certainly in a day and age where a preaching, uh, in our day at least, is thought of as nothing more than little chats or motivational messages or encouragement, um, he is going to blast away with a apostolic and prophetic view of pr the preaching of the authoritative Word of God. So pick this one up. What I'll do, as I always do, is uh, post a link for you in the description of this video. If you just toggle down, boom, there will be a link. Take you right to Amazon. You can pick this baby up. And again, for those of you who are preachers of the Word of God, please read this. You will find your soul greatly uh, encouraged as you labor in the expo exposition of the Word of God. And by the way, let me throw this in. If you happen to teach homiletics courses, uh, although he... Uh, controversially says he has no place for homiletics. Um, you'll, you'll read that in the book. Nevertheless, it's probably the best book, ironically, that you could select for homiletics courses if you happen to teach that topic. Okay, Pastor Matt signing out. Thanks again for subscribing to this YouTube channel. More stuff to come later this summer. See you soon.